Hey, what's up everyone, Danny here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download Windows 10 and install it onto your computer completely for free using Microsoft's own official website and tools. You do not need a Windows license or more commonly known as a Windows key prior to doing this. You can go through the entire process without one and Windows will be usable and receive critical updates even while inactivated. And then you can always activate a license down the road if you choose to. I'll go through the entire process so that you can follow along with me and I'll time it to show you how fast I can get it done uh, so that you can get an idea of how long it may take you. Uh, but yeah, before we get into that though, a quick word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Synology Moments. March 31st is World Backup Day and to celebrate it, Synology wants to remind you to keep your priceless digital moments safe and secure. Google Photos is ending their unlimited backup later this year and when that happens, backing up all your photos and videos will start counting towards your Google account storage, which for free accounts is only 15 gigabytes shared across all Google apps. Getting additional storage after that will require paying for a monthly plan. The Synology Moments app is a solution to this by allowing you to conveniently back up all your smartphone photos and videos to a Synology network attached storage device. This way, you're in complete control of your files and not susceptible to monthly storage plans that may increase over time. Synology offers NAS devices starting as low as $99 that are perfect for backing up your photos, videos, documents, and more. I personally use the Synology DS220 Plus to back up all my important files and pretty much everything required to make content for the Nerd on a Budget channel. Mine has two Western Digital Red Pro drives in it, which are Western Digital's NAS specific drives, designed for always on 24-7 workloads and come with a longer 5-year warranty. You can learn more by checking out the link in the description below. All right, so before we get started, you're gonna need three things. The first is going to be a flash drive that is at least eight gigabytes big, and you're gonna to wanna to back up any important documents that you may have had on it somewhere else because throughout this process, it will be wiped and it will be formatted to create the Windows installation media. The second thing you're gonna need is the system that you're gonna be installing Windows 10 onto. We're gonna be using this desktop as an example today. It has a SSD on it with no operating system. This is gonna be very similar to if you just built your own PC and you boot on for the first time, this is where you're gonna see on the screen. Reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media in selected boot device and press a key. We are going to be creating the boot media that they're referring to. And the third thing that you need is another computer uh, with internet access. Once you have those three things, we can get started. So I'm gonna switch and turn on the screen recorder now and walk you through the process. I'm going to press my stopwatch now. So the first thing that we wanna do is take the thumb drive and plug it into the computer to make sure it's detected so that we can use it. So it's gonna take a little second here to pop up. Here's my main C drive. New volume D, this is the flash drive. So it's there, we're gonna to go to uh, in Google, you can just type Windows 10 Media Creation Tool and it's gonna be the first link. Okay, I'll also have this link down below, but you're gonna wanna go to Create Windows 10 Installation Media, which is right here. I'm gonna download the tool now. The download is pretty quick because it's only 18.6 megabytes as we just saw here. So once it's done, you're gonna double click that and open it up and we're gonna walk through the process. There is a little bit of waiting as it loads up and it's gonna to have to download the ISO when we go through this. That would be what takes the longest for the most part, just waiting for things to load and um, to download. Going through the actual steps and processes is pretty quick as you're gonna see here. Okay, so here is the software license terms. You can read through this as you if you want, but I've read through the terms and there's nothing illegal about what we are doing. If you found something that says otherwise, please feel free to share it down below because I've had people get into arguments with me about this and I have not read anything that says otherwise. Okay, so there's two options. You can upgrade this PC now, which would be upgrading the laptop. You don't want to choose this one. You want to create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO for another PC because we're going to be using it for this PC right next to me. So we're going to click that and go to next. For this, you can choose uh, whatever settings you want, but English, Windows 10, for the architecture, just choose 64-bit, 32-bit. It's not gonna have support in the near future, so Microsoft is stopping support on that. So then you're gonna install it to a USB flash drive, and here's where it says it needs to be at least eight gigabytes. We're gonna select that and go to next. And then when we select the USB flash drive, you can see our drive, the new volume D is right here. Select that and go to next. And now it's kind of the waiting game. All right, so the download is completed and now it needs to verify the download. We're about eight minutes, eight and a half minutes in so far. So now it's gonna create the Windows 10 Media.
All right, so the flash drive is ready to go. We're about 15 and a half minute mark. So I'm gonna click finish and that's done. Setup is cleaning up. All right, so we're good to go. I'm gonna be a responsible person and safely eject my media. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the flash drive to the system. And if you're on the screen because you turned on your computer already, um, all you have to do is hit control alt delete. And it's gonna restart real quick. And for the most part, it should detect now that this thumb drive is in here. If not, we're gonna, all right, so it did not detect it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the BIOS real quick. And we're gonna set the boot priority to go straight to the flash drive. If the BIOS will pull up here real quick. Oh, looks like I didn't even need to do that at all because it detected it um, when I restarted it again. So it looks like we're gonna choose language to install. It's gonna be English, time and currency format English, US uh, keyboard and input method. If you need to change it up, do it to wherever your preferences are. I'm keeping it like those. Click install now. And this part is gonna ask you to activate Windows. This is where you would put in your product key or your Windows key. But um, assuming that you're doing this without one, you would just click, I do not have a product key. If you bought used hardware that someone already installed Windows 10 on and you have no idea what the key is, don't worry, just click I don't have a product key. And if it has been activated before, uh, then Microsoft knows that and it's gonna reactivate. But for this, uh, click I do not have a product key if you don't have one. If you do have one, just put it in here and then click next. So this is where you're gonna choose which version of Windows 10 you want. Home and Pro are gonna be the two most popular ones. I'm gonna choose Pro, but just keep in mind wherever you choose. Um, if you do end up getting a key later, you choose the right version to get a key for to what's already installed on your system. So here's your software license terms again. Accept it and hit next. If you wanna read through it, go ahead. And then in this portion of the menu, um, you can choose to upgrade a system that has, let's say Windows 7 or 8, or um, even something that already has Windows 10 on. You can upgrade it so that you can install a fresh uh, Windows 10 on it while keeping old files. But we're gonna choose custom install Windows only and it's gonna be a fresh install. And on this screen, you're gonna choose which drive you want it on. I have two uh, SSDs in here. One's a one terabyte and one's a 500 gigabyte. I'm gonna install it on the one terabyte. So I'm gonna select here and then hit next. All right, so it's finishing up now. And now the computer's gonna restart before it gets into finishing. Well, I'm gonna click restart now actually. And then it's gonna to get to setting it up for the first time. Okay, we're over 20 minutes now. Most of that was due to downloading though. All right, you're gonna choose what region is right for you. We're gonna go with United States. US keyboard layout. I do not want a second keyboard layout, so I'm gonna skip that. Let's connect you to a network. I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna lie and say I don't have internet. And then I'm going to continue with limited setup. So you're gonna put your name in here. So I'm gonna put Nob. Hit next. Memorable password. You can put whatever password you want. I'm just gonna skip and go no password for now. And then this is where you're gonna choose your privacy setting for your devices. You can read through all of these and customize how you want. I basically turn everything off. So then you're gonna click accept and then let Cortana help you. Every time I put no, I don't want Cortana to help me out, but then um, I get Cortana anyways after the fact. So now telling you that they're getting things ready, All right, we're in the windows. I think we're, I mean, we're basically good to go now. You can do whatever you wanna do. Yeah, this is perfectly usable as is. Uh, you can connect it to the internet, get all your critical windows updates, install graphics drivers, install Steam, your games, everything, and, and you're good to go. Um, let's see if there's anything else I wanna talk about before closing out the video. 
so that's gonna wrap it up for this video i don't have anything else to talk about uh, i hope you found this video helpful and i'm really curious out there whoever stumbled across this video or are using this as a step-by-step -step tutorial are you going to be using this and using it unactivated or are you going to be using it with a legitimate windows copy that you got from like microsoft directly or from a authorized reseller like a new egg or you get it from like a gray market key website or ebay you know like the five to fifteen dollar windows keys um or are you gonna be a bad boy or girl and uh crack windows i'm not sure if people even do that anymore is that even necessary with it being free unactivated i don't know uh, but yeah i'm curious what uses people are gonna get out of this um for their windows installations so uh yeah leave me know down in the comments below and i'll see you down there as well as in the next video bye